Hi, I'm Christine Stevens from Music Literacy Now. I want to show you now that you've built your instruments how to build some rhythm, games, and an ensemble rhythm together in your classroom. So the first thing you can do with the drums and instruments that you've built is to do a rumble. And it's where everybody just makes their sound. You can have it go louder. get louder, or just the shakers get louder, and then cue a stop. The second one, when you have the backing track playing, you can play call and response. Call and response is a, a very ancient tool, often in African cultural rhythms. There's a person who plays a rhythm and then the group echoes it back. So if I play And you're going to say your name in the rhythm of the instrument, and the rest of the class can join you in that beat. So my name is Christine Stevens. Christine Stevens. Let's all play Christine Stevens. Christine Stevens. Christine Stevens. Christine Stevens. Awesome. So there's three great activities you can use in this build a beat. And for the fourth activity, we're going to teach you now an ensemble using the four different instruments you've built. And there are four different sound qualities, or in music we say timbres. And we're going to put them together, and in using a grid, which is called the time box unit, shows us on the beats one, two, three, four, or one, or one and two and three and four and. So this is subdivided. Four beats or eight subdivisions. There's math in rhythm. And each part has a different beat. And I've made this simpler version, build a beat ensemble part one. So if you have a, a younger classroom, this is a great one to start with. Let's start with the drums. Okay, drums, you're gonna play. You have a really great part. Shake on every beat. Shake, 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 shake. One, two, three, four. Shake, 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 shake. You can ask your kids to get creative and make a dance with their shakers. And make emotions. Now, let's add the scraper. And the scraper has the sound of down and up. So it's going to start with a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, four and one, four and one, four and one. You can play. You can play. It's always good to use words when you're teaching rhythms because people can say it, they can play it. And the last is the double bell. So the double bell has high and low. Here's the higher sound. High and low. So this part is high, low, low, high. High, low, low, high. track of play along music that's provided in this project and if you're playing the drum and you can when you listen to the music you can hear 
one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And. So the first part is the drum. Packing tape drum. as speaking, because if you can say it, you can play it. So you can take a phrase, pass the popcorn, pass the popcorn, pass the popcorn. We can do it, we can do it. You can make up your own phrase. So that's the drum part. Next is the shaker. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's a pretty good part. <laughs> now, scraper. So now we add this D and U for down and up. Down and up. Down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. One, two, three, and four. One, two, cha, cha, cha. Double bet. High and low. So you gotta figure out which is the higher side of the bell, the can bell. This one's higher. So this part goes one, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. five-gallon ones upside down has a good bass sound, or the top lid of a garbage can, actually. This pulse part is... Keeping it together. And that's the ensemble parts broken down for you to play. Now, the exciting thing is, you can keep this backing track going, and you can take off all these parts and make a new grid. Your classroom can build their own rhythm, each part. And then they can send that rhythm to another classroom partner. You can even partner within your class. So once you have kids assigned to the different instruments, they can trade. The drums can trade with the shakers and teach each other the rhythms. Same with the scrapers and bells. And then you can trade again so that all kids get to play all the parts and the students become teachers of the rhythm pattern to their new friend and partner. So this is a great way to, of course, the goal being experiencing the social benefits of ensemble playing. That we build relationships when we play music together. That it gives kids a sense of camaraderie and the feeling that any one part is nowhere near as important and beautiful without all the others. And we really rely on each other in music. That's an important principle for life. And this activity is a great way to demonstrate that. Thank you. You can build a beat.